my name is Ricky Trask, and I'm a student at Sandy High School that has been through the YMCA Phoenix program. Before I went to Phoenix program, I did, I drank alcohol, I smoked marijuana, um, I skipped school on a regular basis, I had horrible grades, I was never really there. My parents were not really there for us. I was just, I just had a lot of struggles and I had no one to, I could talk to, I just was on, alone, I was by myself. I got in trouble at school for smoking marijuana, which then got me suspended and so I had to talk to the drug and alcohol counselor and um, she had me go through Phoenix. When I was heading to Phoenix, I was very scared and nervous and I was quite angry actually. Um, I didn't think that I needed to do it. I felt like it was just going to be a program where people told me how horrible of a person I was and how I needed to change myself and I was heading in the wrong direction. Everyone there just loved you and told you that you were okay and they helped you with anything. You could tell them anything. It was like the most amazing, biggest feeling of love that you could even imagine. The very first activity that normally we would do when we got there was an activity that we all got in a big circle and our leader, Eric, or Hanif, would um, have this poster with a whole ton of different words on it, like abuse, or drugs and alcohol, or death, or struggles, just anything. And he would say a word, and whoever that applied to would stand up and get a different seat. Well, that to me um, probably was the biggest because it showed me that I wasn't alone anymore and that everyone has problems just like me and everyone has struggles that they go through and that you're just not alone. I actually went to school with a girl for about four or five years prior to high school and um, I knew her name. I knew she was a good girl, she played sports, she did good in school whereas I wasn't as good as her. So I never in a million years would have talked to her. And then we went through Phoenix together, um, we were grouped together, and now I would consider her one of my best friends. I would say honesty is the biggest thing for me. Um, I used to lie to anyone and everyone I could. I lied about anything and everything I could. I didn't want people to know the real me. Going through the YMCA Phoenix, I have just really learned that lying isn't the easy way. Um, being honest and respectful is um, the best thing you could do. My parents trust me now. They are. They have changed themselves just by how we have changed, and um, I it. It just, it teaches you responsibility. And so I want to be able to be the one to let teenagers know that it's okay and that they can do it and that it might be hard, but it's worth it in the end. I've been clean and sober. Um, I have a full schedule at school and I get straight A's. Um, my plan is to graduate a half a year early instead of not graduating at all. Um, I'm with a group called Hands of Hope going to Africa to take care of HIV positive orphans. Um, I'm, I know who I am now. I know what I'm supposed to do and I know what I'm going to do and I'm not just wondering anymore.